with that um tequila on the rocks with a little juice. Okay. So, yeah. I was ready for you. <laughs> I was ready for you. Yeah, man. I just I was so many. They did all this shit last minute. I had to go get a last minute brain scan, MRI, fucking ETG. I had to go get a like just a whole physical last minute. I did some the other day, but I never finished because of my granny funeral. Then you know my granny just passed. It was just been a whole hectic ass week, bro. Hey, I was gonna ask you about that. That's the that's the granny that I met at the house, right? Yeah, exactly. My mom's mom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna ask you about that. I have that right here on my notes. But did you say ETG, but you meant to say EKG? I said ETG? You said A Trey Gangster. Oh, my bad. EKG, shout, out I think. shout out to my train <laughs> niggas, though. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? I, yeah, the EKG. Know, AK, EKG. Yeah, EKG, EKG yeah. And um, I, I had four interviews scheduled for today, and I'm, I was able to do three of them. And in one of the interviews, surprisingly, we talked about you. And my man from Inglewood, who's a blood from Inglewood, said he got $100 on, on Gonzo. So I wanted That's to ask bug. about that too. That's bug to each day young. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I ain't mad at no nigga for going for you know what I mean? Every man every man is entitled to their opinion. You know what he, I mean? He, I he, even, he, he even said in the interview, I know I'm supposed to go for the home team. I know I'm supposed to go for Inglewood, but I, I I'm trying to make this he two hundred dollar bets he got. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. But just remember when you bracket it be like this, not like that though. Inglewood though. Like you know what I mean? Inglewood though. You know what I mean? Yeah. But whatever, like you know what I mean. Each time that lets you know, that lets you know how when you bracket, like you know what I mean, it be your own people. The close, you know how like Nas, Nas say the people, the closest people to you is the one. Like you know what I mean, it's the closest people to you that's your own enemies. Like it's the nigga that's supposed to be rooting for you, that's really praying for your downfall. And it's weird because in my mind, even if it's not me, it's still not gonna be you. Though, like, nigga, like, why not root for me? Like, you not rooting for me because you jealous is not you. But you need to understand that even if it's not me, it's still not going to be you. Like, well, let me, me let me let me defend him a little bit because it wasn't like he was rooting for your downfall. He was looking at it as as a, a boxing analyst. And he, seeing me fight, though. He was saying that he thinks like, you... you I know, but he said that he's he seen you on the live smoking too much weed every night, and and Gonzo looked like he stopped doing his he stopped doing drugs, stopped smoking, and that Gonzo be smoking too. What are you talking about? Gonzo I know. I, 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 that's what I told him. I told him Gonzo be smoking too. Maybe he don't smoke as much as Bosco, but he smoked too. But I th how did he know how much I smoke? He only seen me smoke one blunt on live, so how would he yeah. know how much I smoke? Like I only been, I ain't even been live in over a month. Like so, how how often has we seen? I've been banned. I'm banned from live. I can't even go live from my page. So how how often has he seen me smoke? Really? And then I only be on live. A live only lasts an hour. So if you see me smoke one blunt in an hour, one day you just feel like I just smoke ten, twenty blunts a day. How often do you you just know I smoke a lot like that? I don't know, like you know what I mean. Well, let me ask you this, cause, cause he say he fuck with you, you know, he's he he got love for you, but he just he's just doing his bet, thinking. With, with that's his, cool. He, I mean, I that's think, cool. I don't think he got nothing negative against you, cause he didn't even. No, no, no. I'm not that. saying that. I'm just saying like everybody can't be a winner though. Everybody yeah. can't be a winner. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody can't be a winner. Yeah. So you you literally like right five minutes away. <laughs> Five miles away from my spot over here, which is which is crazy. Actually, eight, eight, and and that's not that's not too far from where you did that. I think that's your first interview you ever did was in that park, huh? I mean, you know, history is history. Yeah. Hey, but what I was finna say though, like like my prediction for the fight, everybody who bet against Bosco. Gonna have to apologize, bro. They gonna owe me an apology. They gonna owe me an apology. I'm I'm picking you just on the sheer strength that you six feet tall, you over two hundred pounds, and I just think that's just enough. You know, <laughs> I think that's enough to stomp the dude out. You know, 
No yeah. disrespect to Gonzo, but I just think you just too big and too strong. I do think Gonzo is faster. He's faster. He's you're faster. You're you weigh less. You're smaller. You're more yeah. nimble. I but think you're five nine, one fifty five, and like nigga, like yo, he's body, faster and he's more athletic than you, but you bigger and stronger. So I'm gonna go with the bigger and stronger on this one. And I have more squabbles than him. I got more spirit. He ain't had when the last time he really got punched in his face. Like he ain't had no squabbles. He ain't, I really been squab see niggas just think that my whole life played out on the internet. I really done had street squabble, recent say squabble. I really done. You feel? I read a bus nigga shit open with these recently, like recently, like in the last six months, like in the last six months, like you see what I'm saying? Like, like when the last time that nigga really had a real fight? I'm just saying, blood, like, blood. Everybody got a plan till they get punched in their mouth. But you know what I mean? Much, much respect. Much, like you know what I mean? Good luck to that brother. Like you know what I mean? It could go either way. But everybody get a plan till they get bust in their mouth. Now, win, lose, or draw after the fight is over, I'm assuming you, you and him are going to shake hands and, and the beef is over. I mean, you know, because I got to be a man about it. Like, that's what men do, and I'm trying to set an example. Like, the whole point of this, it's not even – it's bigger than me and him. The whole theme of the whole shit is guns down, gloves up. Like, you know what I mean? So, it's like, you know what I mean? It, it, for me not to shake his hand and be done with it and move on with life, it's setting a bad example, and the whole point of this is to set a better example for the community and the youth. So, you know what I mean? For me not to, I would be, it'd be off for no reason. Like, it ain't about the money.